a lot of people love the NPFL in Nigeria. Absolutely. A lot of people want the league to grow. They want to watch the league. Now, um, for the past few seasons, the league hasn't come to a con proper conclusion. And uh, I don't think there's any sponsor of the league at the moment. Now, you mentioned um, people putting in sponsors, putting money in the league and all that. Um, to you, can you prefer a solution? What, how can the NPFL grow from where it is now? I mean, we talked about the LMC last time on the show, the role of the LMC in Nigerian football, the role of NFF and all that. A lot of people still feel the LMC should, one way or the other, report to the NFF. I mean, the growth of Nigerian football, there's no way the LMC... about the can, enemies of Nigerian football now. There's no way the LMC cannot just just be on its own just like that without Why? reporting to the, to Why? the NFF. That's the perception in a lot the, of people get. Okay, so, before, uh, so can you clarify before that? Before I prefer solution, let me ask. What benefits, what gain does Nigerian Football League, the NPFA, what gain does it get if the LMC reports to the NFF? And what is the value? Why are people concerned about reporting instead of concerning themselves with the real nitty gritty of how the league can be good? So let's go to, I, I don't know if you have an answer to that. that that's, that's it for now. Okay, so let's go to preferring solutions. The solution is not a one root solution. Nobody have a one root solution to this problem. The solution is a compendium of activities coming together to make it work. But in the small time, let's first of all deal with the, the compendium that I'm talking about. Uh, the first thing that you need to understand is the insecurity in Nigeria would definitely affect productivity in all industry as well as the league. The league in itself is an industry and it's not a stationary industri industry that sits in Lagos and work like the entertainment industry. If Lagos works, the entertainment industry is working. There are more cinemas in Lagos than the whole of the rest of Nigeria put together. So if if the rest cinemas across Nigeria are not working, but the one in Lagos, Ibado, and maybe Abuja is working, then the entertainment is a success. Football is not like that. Football, there is a football club called Academy Warriors in Meduguri in Meduguri. There is Zamfara United in Zamfara. There is Play 2 United in Jos. There is a club called Canopilas who are supposed to be playing in Kano, playing in Kaduna. These are trouble spots in nigeria right now so it affects the brand but that's not even the prop the, the the one that i want to look at because anyhow you look at it that is also the excuse for the drawback let me read something for you and i use okay. this to buttress my point the english premier league soccer championship has agreed a proposal for a three-year renewal of uk live and non-live broadcast agreement with sky sports bt sports amazon prime video and bbc sports uh the right deal is worth five billion pounds which is seven billion dollars was agreed in 2018 and will now be rolled over from 2022 to 2025 why did i bring this up Last week, I said something, and after the show, some people were attacking me, that I'm attacking the fingers that fed me, and I don't know who, feed, who, feed, who fed me. I don't know when I was hungry, when, thing, when these fingers fed me. Please, if you fed me, please come aside and tell me when you fed me when I was hungry. But I, I, I always say to people that I came into in this industry not as a rookie. As a former player, I was a club administrator, I was a football. I've owned a football club in Nigeria for five years, paying player salary running the club traveling around this country play fa cup up to quarterfinals so the player to lobby stars and that player was the first player that was sold from nigeria to al ali for two million dollars the first two million dollar player out of this country before tie title so people should sometimes when they talk if you don't have information shut up don't come out and just be saying things because oh uh, uh, after brilla raised you you want to... no i'm not attacking them i'm saying the fact the industry will not grow look at uh, the Lagos state fa cup and this FA Cup have been in existence is forever. What we did in 2018 and 2019 brought back the beauty of the FA Cup. Unfortunately, COVID did not let us continue. The Surulere League, that everybody, that's not the future league that everybody's talking about. What we did with them, and you were at the very forefront of that reportage, in 2019 was what made them become a, a league that everybody put their eyes on. And some people almost killed the league. The league went from Surulere League to the Fusion League. And now, in the conversation, you always see the conversation. Yeah. People like Aiko J and now uh, football, football directors director, in the yeah. league. The league is so structured. When I came in, the league was not structured. The league was not organized. Jerseys were terrible. Players were dressing terribly. Now, sometimes, it's good to blow your trumpet. Because I like to walk behind the scene and, you know, not get mentioned. But these are works that I have done at my low, zero capacity level. Okay? These are, these are things I have done. 
because, because of that work, there is a league called the Potaka City League today. Kevin Kingsley Lisa is doing a great job, but it's because of the Soro Liri, what we did with Soro Liri. There's a league about to take off in Ondo State because of that. Um, they, are, they are waiting for me to come and give them a blueprint on how that works and some other parts of the country. So, let me tell you if we want our league to work. The elevated TV's radio of this world, the Brilla FM's of this world, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to mention them, okay? People think, oh, you don't mention, I will have to. The NTS of this world, the AITs, the Silver Bear, the Niger FM, the Cool FM, the Niger Info, all of them need to come together and do what you see, what I just read now. Yeah. What the uh, Sky Sports, BT Sports, Amazon Prime, BBC, and the rest of them have done with the British League. That money is why the, if you take away that money eh, from the uh, English Premier League, the league will be worse than Nigeria League. Take away this money now this five billion pounds from the premier league the league is dead it's as simple as that all this flamboyance where you see people on match day wearing suit dressing well is that money because it is them that cannot sit on the table and tell show Diko if the these old stations that i mentioned are come together and say look because people will say they can't come together is a lie in 2014 when osmi brought the audio broadcast rights of yeah. the of the world cup to nigeria all the media houses even the ones that were in court fighting each other came together sat under a round table because there was money to share they sat under a round table and agreed that uh, uh people from this one this one this one, all of I us remember us walk up. yes remember. it was us me that brought it and the conversation the funny thing is he's still alive is the chairman lagos state sports commission go and sit with shola Yekbeku and have this conversation i initiated that conversation with him if they think i'm lying ask this question how come after 2014 we don't have that same broadcast system again i started that conversation two years 2012 two years before 2014 and he said it's possible and then we went about it and then eventually kulif Aludu came in and you know people claim different different people claim uh, that they were the ones who were in a plane and when the conversation was made is a lie that was a conversation that i initiated with shola Yekweko, who was managing us me at the time if they can come together to share what called broadcast money why can't they come together and say you know what share with do the organization run the fixtures run the matches but there's opportunity here for us to make money we are going to give you for now we cannot give you five billion pounds we don't have that money but we are collectively we're going to do collective bargaining and give you say 100 million dollars but we will take over the entire marketing responsibility from you we will market it whatever comes don't put your face anymore because we're giving you money up front that's what happens how sky sports sell that broadcast right they have now to super sports it's no longer the epa business how they sell that broadcast right to other broadcast outfit outside england it's no longer the business of the epa how bbc sell their own to people in south america and north america how they stream it when the match comes up and you're streaming the matches do you not wonder why they are streaming it it helps their numbers and that numbers is what they make money from it's a numbers game so if these media houses are really honest about themselves let's not let's not deceive ourselves most of the nigerian media outfits are worth between four to six billion naira, and some are even worth more is it not in this nigeria that they're making that money before you tell me of what is happening in abroad and go to the us is the same model that is happening the espns of this world the tnts of this world they are the ones funding the nba the nfl and whatever the ice hockey league so why are our own different you you oh your job as a media is just to sit down and, and criticize what are you contributing or to copy and paste what is written on daily mail and what is written on the sun what who cannot do that any Tom the canary can do that shit. If you really trust and you believe in Nigeria, you want to see Nigeria grow, do that. Put $500 million in Shehudiko's hand eh? and sit him down in a meeting and tell him that, look, oh, we are putting this money on trust and we want, we want you to run this thing like this. But, but before we put that money, we will need representative from our companies to be on the board. So that when you take decision, when you're spreading this money, we know that we have a say on it. But then the marketing now, whatever advert or the rest that comes in is our money. We will share it. You think they will not make money from it? Did they not put money in the World Cup? Did they not make that World Cup in 2014 made over 3.5 billion naira in Nigeria? Did they not share the money? It's what it's just one month. The league is nine months. Who are we fooling? But they sit down in pockets of uh, space, spaces in WhatsApp group back behind the scene and they're talking about Amaju. Amaju will go to monitor around the league. What are they putting as investors? Stakeholders. Every day they call themselves stakeholders. What stake do you have? 
that's the thing that we're talking Ada is the guy that's talking at man and, and the easiest way to rubbish Ada is to sit somewhere and say oh it's uh, Amaju boy no if Amaju is not there if the person that is there is Ibrahim Guso I will still say the same thing is she would be called Michelle would boy too I never know where she would go grow up I don't know whether I was born in Abuja Kano or Kaduna I don't care in all of my life I've sat down with she would be only once nobody criticized people forget that I used to criticize Amaju a lot I, when I interviewed Sheh Udiko during COVID-19, Nigerians and a lot of people, these same people who are saying that, oh, he's in, the, in their pocket, were surprised that Sheh Udiko would even agree to do an interview with me. What, what name have I not called Sheh Udiko? But see, when you come to realize the facts behind these things, you should hold your sword and realize that the problem is bigger than the individual. The roles that this media needs to play is what will change Nigerian football. The catalyst here is for this media who prioritize. I'm not saying don't show your European football. I'm not yeah. saying that. Being sports, being TV was showing the Copa America now. Sky Sports was showing the Copa America, even in the middle of Euros. It's like, I'm not saying don't talk about your European this thing. A station in Nigeria went to set up office in London to get people to, uh, uh, running commentaries of Euro English Premier League and European football. Into Nigeria. What are we saying? It's, are they not paying them in, in, in pounds? Oh, you better just say that for us. They, 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 they run commentary. Why are we deceiving ourselves? Why are they not paying that same kind of money to Nigeria to run commentary by Nigerian League and give that same money to 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 the LMC so that the, the, the league can grow? Is that not hypocrisy? That's the greatest hypocrisy I've ever seen. So when we sit down here and we throw up all this criticism, the solution is right in our hand. But our wickedness, the evil in us. The greed in us will not make it happen. And every single day that passes by, we are no longer creative in the work that we do for our home. What we do is, we've not find a lazy way. Back in the day, we used to have reporters scattered across Nigeria. We find a lazy way, copy and paste. That's why all our stories, have you noticed that all our stories are one-sided? Let me give you a very good example. If not for social media, that kicking and fighting that we saw with the English fans on the mm, Italians, yeah. It was it was something else. have you saw, seen it in any of daily mail any of the uh, in foreign newspapers it's not there the only reason you saw it is social media if that same thing happened in nigeria all of the nigerian media would take front row center seed analyzing it for one month sharing it on their top prime prime time making it it will be on tv it will be on channels television silver it will be everywhere because that's what we are we like to destroy the house we like to bring down the house so that we show that we know but that's the stupidity of our person that's the same reason why players that are born in the uk will not want to play for nigeria because they've been told things that we're very bad people it is the only reason we're seeing those things is because of social media because when i tell people most of the time that listen all of these things that you talk about that is happening in nigeria league is happening in italy it's happening in france it's happening in germany it's happening in spain it's happening in england i was at the 2014 world cup there was speech invasion in the finals three times but nobody saw it over the back home as the people were there the media managed it they were booing the the, the the brazilian president lula da silva every time she comes to the stadium insulting her they were cat calls that was the first time i realized that the sand in the stadium is different from the sand that people hear it's crowd ambience we all not know because of covid but people didn't know that the kind of insults you get in the stadium is different it's way, way even worse than what, what what we used to get when i was playing football but guess what it is not well managed that's our responsibility she should not be bothering about uh, uh programming a uh, uh, video management of that it should be bothered about scheduling matches and the rest but because this media confraternity that we have here who are agents of evil who believes that criticism is the only way to make progress will never think about it why do you think that nowadays nigerian players would rather go and talk to nedu would rather go and have a conversation with ay would rather go and visit alibaba than go visit media houses why do you think so because they too they are tired they, they don't the, the, the way we do stories are no longer relevant in the football world that side that style of story of let's do negative so that people will come beg us and give us bribe and uh, nominate one of our staff for media officers job no longer exists times have changed our media needs to change 
our media also that are criticizing should also invest the same way bbc the same way sky sports bt sports don't forget that bt sports is owned by an arab person so it's not even a british person uh amazon prime and the rest it's not a british owned business the same way they believe in the premier league and put their money and they've been putting their money since so not, nobody should tell me that oh the, let them do the no when you put your money anything you put your, that's the reason why I, i'm going to be here every day even if other people are not here because my money is here whatever a man's money is that's where his heart is where your treasure is that's where your heart is we would all be willing to fight for it to see the end right i i have shut down my children's birthday stop them from going on vacation because i want to put money here and i want to see it grow it's the same thing if we really are serious with nigerian football it's a five billion dollar industry it's a fact so we also know that every year the uh brands and advertisers in nigeria spend between three to four billion naira every year so if this is a five billion dollar industry what we need to do is to put the media side of it work because that's where the money really is put the media side of of this business right and then the advertisers will come it's simple they are looking for traffic if you give them traffic they'll put their money and once you put their money our players will end well if you put if you give a show Diko, say a hundred million dollars the league winner uh the winner of the league in uh which country got fifty three thousand dollars that's about uh I, I don't know but less than a hundred million naira for the winner of the league i forgot it. i saw i saw that somewhere the thing is if we give a hundred million dollars to show Udiko from consortium of media and they take the, the the broadcast right as well as the marketing right as a bargaining chip we'll be able to get the winner of the league at least 10 million dollars okay which is 10 percent of that money and spread the rest across and then we see how that become a catalyst to galvanize the league but unfortunately we're not doing that you think criticism will, will take us anywhere we will criticize from now till eternity nothing will happen one day some small small boys the way the entertainment industry changed and it moved away from people like them idris abdul karim people like them peter side people like the late raskimono uh, even though you now say that they are the forebearers but the kind of money that the whiskeys of this world the Bonner boys are seeing the kind of private jet that they're flying on those guys never saw it they might say they, they might call themselves the forebearers the, the forefathers of the industry but nothing will hap happen i pray i'm not like that person i, I pray i'm not like the the the, the, the cup bearer of the king who said to elijah that even if god were to do it it cannot happen and elijah said tomorrow you will see with your eye but you will not enter, you will not you will not benefit from it i pray i'm not like that i'm not like those kind of people i want to strategically position myself right now that when that uh, open opportunity comes i'm there to take advantage of it do you know that the mpf tv was a great opportunity but i mean people were not ready that's just the truth the nigerian medias that are good at doing church 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 or no church talk anyhow criticize people they were not ready the mpf the lmc was looking for production outfit within our media space there's nobody they still have to go back to nta the so-called nta that we're attacking truly you can't be the rich was the one that we went to to go get production outfit do you know that as we speak people are everywhere talking rubbish we have only two football commentators two proven football commentators in nigeria babajide guerrero and emmanuel Eaton. and i'm proud to say uh, one of them i trained now look across the nigerian media space there are no football commentators have you sat down with shewudiko and I, I i flew from here to my Tama, to abuja to ask him why is it that only these two guys he said they are nobody that they they've reached out to almost everybody do a five minutes or two minutes recording of yourself as a commentator people not fit they're not getting the mp the nff as we speak so go and ask uh ayo olui bidak boy will tell you is looking for people that will be commentators for nigerian home games all these plenty of journalists that call themselves king kong nothing they're not fit they're not fit you know how many times they've asked me to come to i said no i can't leave my my work this is my baby right now I'm, I'm putting it right right i'm putting this right because this is strategically positioned to project grassroots i can't leave it but they are there in whatsapp group talking sharing pictures of neymar and the rest of them uh, telling you why amaju should not go and take picture and that they don't know their job oh. their own job they don't feed one so it's, it's it's a collective to fix it these people need to come in and say look we are not giving you money for free we are investing and we will be the first partakers of the harvest so we give you this all this hot spot and the rest of them let's let's sign up a deal together and do uh something that will grow the league because if the league grows it's not people that take a risk on the epl in 1992 
Those people are benefiting now. So let's take a risk on the MPFL. You guys have done the best you can do from your administrative end. Now let's bring in the sponsorship and the marketing acumen, the knowledge that we have over the years, and let's make the league take the league to the next level. We will create more, more room for more commentators, more production outfit, more editing, more short videos, and the rest of them. And then when the money comes in, we split. That's the way it works. That's how business are done. But no, we don't want to do that. We want to sit and criticize. You think criticism will change Nigeria football? It will not. You are listening to a Legbete TV radio.